What is up everybody? Today we're going to be playing a brand new game. Well, I guess not brand new, but brand new to the channel. This is The Long Drive. It's a pretty fun little game. I've played about 10 hours of it uh, here and there. Kind of have a general idea of how the game works, what, what you're supposed to do in it. So I guess without any further ado, let's get right into it. So you start off here in this little this house. Um, I guess throughout the game you'll see that most of the buildings are the same through and through like uh, you come across all the same buildings except for this one so you only see this one right here at the beginning of the game and uh, I guess from what I understand the road goes about 5,000 kilometers through the desert and the grass and occasionally there's snow um, and then it just ends there's nothing on the other side I don't know if they're gonna ever gonna add anything to the other side but I guess we'll find out. We may make it to that point at some, or to that, to the end of the road at some point. I guess uh, there's a couple little things that you should know if you're gonna get into this game. If you see this this video and think it's a, uh, think it's a cool looking game. First off, these baskets here, they are very ugly, but they're very useful. So anything that you put inside of them, it turns the physics off for. So I can pick this basket up and flip it upside down. Um, which is a little bit, a uh, little bit finicky to, to get them to rotate, but as you can see, these BBs are staying in there. That brings me to the second thing. So you've got the BBs here, and those go with. Oops, let me uh, pick those back up. Got the BBs here that go with this air rifle on the table. This rifle is not the greatest weapon, but guess in the grand scheme of things it's better than nothing so I'm gonna pick these up and go back to the rifle and if you hit if you uh, hold R and then bring your mouse down to break the barrel and then back up and then R again can reload it um, and you're, you're definitely gonna want a weapon because there are some very freaky giant rabbits around here um, oh. I don't know that I can see any of them just yet, but you definitely don't want to mess with them too much. Uh, they're pretty much a one-hit kill, so if uh, if one of them gets gets close to you, you better be ready to shoot. Which there's one right there. And this BB gun's not great, but if you get a headshot, it'll usually usually take them out in one shot. But there are a couple better, better guns in the game. See if I can. Man, this is a stubborn rabbit. He's not wanting to to drop. And part of that is also going to be that the uh, this BB gun is not in the greatest shape. Oh, did we did we get him? Yeah, I think I think he's dead now. And I guess uh, another thing that, at least out of all the saves that I have started, oh, and I don't know if all of the rabbits are uh, hostile, but they do run at you, and they want to kill you, and they scream, and their their little scream is very freaky. But yeah, there's two other guns in the game right now. There is a revolver, and then there is an assault rifle. And obviously the assault rifle is going to be the best, best gun. But you usually don't find that until later on. And down here in this well, I don't know if it's every single time... Uh, if it's every time you start a game, but... Uh, Every time that I played, I found this broom in there. This broom's a very neat little, uh, neat little contraption. It's like a, it's like a, a witch's broom, so you can grab onto it and you can use it as a mode of transportation. So where I'm gonna take this 
is to the chimney of our little house over here. Um, and you can get up here a, a different way as well. But I'm gonna, just going to use a broom to kind of show you how it works. But if you go to your... Uh, go to the chimney. I don't know if you just heard that. That was a rabbit somewhere. But there's a revolver in the chimney. And uh, you can either... There's a way you can kind of like glitch jump your way out of it. Like if you push up against the wall, sometimes you can just jump up the wall. And get out of, out of stuff. But I found the easiest way to get out of here if you go in here is to open this little door. And you can reach your bed and just sit in your bed. So what I'm going to do is close that door. And I'm going to drop this revolver on the table here. And so you can grab, throughout the, the world you'll find these little uh, wire brushes. And what you can do with these, you can use them to clean rust off of stuff. So I'm not really going to focus on the car too much because you find these pretty frequently, but I'm going to show you how it works with this door here. Um, so, and it takes the, it'll take the rust down. And I mean, this is one of the better conditioned cars that I've uh, seen in the beginning of this. Oop. Put that back on there. But the engine is absolutely atrocious. We got a good radiator, but the engine is not in the best nick, so we'll have to keep an eye out for a better looking engine. Uh, and maybe I'll Remember to hit the right button to close that next time. But you can also use this brush on the guns. So I can use it to clean up this BB gun right here. Or the uh, revolver right here. Although it's a little bit more finicky when you use it on items on the ground. Sometimes it takes longer to, to, to scrub the rust off of them. Um, I'm not exactly sure why, but... You saw how quick it was on the door. And then how much longer it's taking on this gun here. I know I've done this before, and I know you can use it to make the guns uh, work a little bit more effectively. So the better condition the, the weapon is, the more damage it'll deal to the rabbits. And uh, I'm telling you, I do not like messing with those rabbits. They're not friendly. They're pretty quick. You'll see sometime down the road. Uh, sometimes they run as fast as the car you're driving is. And in that case, it's like 160, 140 kilometers an hour. Let's see if I can't clean this, this uh, revolver up anymore. And you really don't have to do all this prep work to to get into the game. You can kind of just uh, just throw the, the there's those two jerry cans on the bottom of the screen. Um, one of them should have gasoline in it, and then the other one's probably going to be water. Yeah. So you can kind of just grab the grab your gas and fill up your car with what you've got. Which on this one, the gas cap is over here. You just open that up and then left mouse button to fill it up. And you always want to close that because you will lose your fluids if you don't close your gas tank. Um, but I kind of like to, ha to do a little bit of prep work before I, uh, before I get going into this. So there's, let's see, we got 10 liters of oil in here, so we should be able to completely fill up our oil in the engine, which it holds 5 liters, we got 3 liters here, so that'll fill it up, and then the radiator as well, you just put water in it, you don't actually have to have, like, uh, actual coolant, but there's plenty of that in here as well. And then, if you go, kind of jumping over the car, because it's a little bit cramped in this garage, but you can go downstairs, and there's always a, a barrel down here, I think every time I've seen it, it's been alcohol, um, you know, you got a friend for the road if you choose to take that with you and there is some paint so you can paint your car later on down the road or you can start it right now if you'd want to but I think that's about the same color as what we've got already so I'm not going to be too worried about that and now if we go back outside there's a staircase that you can get upstairs and there is another very important item up there that I guess you find fairly frequently but you want to keep a hold of um, if you can. So we can go in here. Um, you don't need a mirror. That's not very important. I'm going to come over here and grab this spray. This spray is uh, another good thing because you can use it to pretty much just clear rust off of anything, but it's really good on tires. You can use it to repair your tire condition. But this right here, 
Um, if you see up in the hot bar, it says not a snake, but it's basically a siphon, so you can pull fluids from uh, other vehicles or um, canisters, containers, whatever, and use that fluid for, you know, your car if you want to fill up a, a gas can for extra gas on the way. Um, you don't really need this for anything, but it's up there. It's just something you can hang up on your car. Um, I'm going to leave that. I hear a rabbit. Did you hear that scream? It means there's a, a rabbit somewhere nearby. I guess we could take out the uh, katana and go attack it, but I would feel a lot more comfortable with a gun. Oh, there he is. He's just outside. And I'm pretty sure that guy may have killed himself out there because the rabbits will jump up against walls to try to get to you. They've got pretty dirt, like straightforward pathfinding. And they'll go straight into a wall and usually that will kill them. Which I'm glad it does because uh, sometimes they'll sneak up on you. Sometimes you don't hear them scream. And they'll just sneak right up on you. But anyway, I'm going to continue getting prepped up for this road trip. So what we're going to do is open up our hatchback here. I'm going to take this tire out because we really don't need it. Uh, might use that wheel because it's in pretty decent condition. And we're going to take this basket. going to set it flat on the ground. Ooh. See if I can not kick it around. We'll grab our siphon. Uh, you can kind of coil it up and make it a little bit smaller for when you drop it in the basket. We definitely want that. And let's see. I don't think we need a bottle of alcohol, but we, what we can do is uh, we can drink it. Ah, oh, very good. Throw that. So, let's see here. We'll put the siphon in the basket I'm going to also take this work light you don't really need it but it's a decent source of light it gets really dark at nighttime in this game so I'm gonna throw that in there uh, I guess I might want to fill up my engine so we've got our oil right here uh, so you open that up you can fill up the oil tank and I guess uh, when I say we got to look for a new engine the biggest biggest uh, issue with this being all rusty like that is it's going to leak fast. Um, so the better condition your radiator and your engine are is the less they'll leak. So the less you'll have to fill them up. So I'm going to fill up my radiator. And I'm going to make sure you close that lid because you will lose fluids like I said. Close. And I'll close that. I think what we're going to do is work on our wheels. Try to make them, uh, get them in a little bit better condition. You know, sometimes they, they come right off the bat in good condition, and sometimes you got to give them a little bit of love. This tire actually doesn't look too bad, um, but what I'm going to do is grab this spray here. Spray it, and four sprays will put it in. Uh, it's like the the best condition you can get. And I'm gonna take the tire off of this, and then put it onto this wheel. So that wheel is in pretty good condition. There was I don't know if I grabbed it and threw it down here. There was a sponge upstairs, but I think I'm just gonna go in here and grab the one off the sink. You can use that to, to polish up the metal, so we should get this looking pretty good. I think I can go one more time. Nah, I'm not going to mess with it too much. Drop that. I'm going to put this wheel back on the car. And there's a better condition hubcap up here, so I'm going to use this one instead of the one that was on the car. Take this off. 
this wheel and you can see just how bad of condition these wheels get these tires when they get to a condition like this have next to no grip on them whatsoever so I always try to grab some of the better tires before I uh, start spraying them because the better condition they are the less spray you'll have to use I think this has one more in it brush here and these these brushes and stuff they do break after a while so you got to be careful with that you can see uh, when I started it the bristles on it were completely silver and now they're all rusty so you are gonna you're gonna start running into that at some point but I'm not gonna focus on the car too much really my my biggest priority when I get started is always going to be getting the wheels in good condition because well, you want to have grip, otherwise you're going to crash, and if you crash, you might die. It's just part of this game. Sometimes, uh, sometimes you just crash a little bit too hard. So, let's see, one, two, three, four. And that one's looking pretty good. Throw that up there. Oh. Uh, yeah, if you hit Q, it kind of messes up your camera, so sometimes you'll accidentally hit Q instead of W and that'll happen it's always good to, to know what's gonna happen because the first time that happened to me I kinda panicked so I was running away from a rabbit and I didn't know why my camera was throwing a fit also these bars I'm not really sure if they're used for anything but you can attach them to your vehicle uh oh you gotta be careful with that as well um, where that went. I'm a little bit scared because uh, the physics in this game do get a little bit unhappy sometimes. And I'm not seeing... Oh, there it is. I can see it in there. Right. So I know I've, uh, I've, I've went to attach one of those bars to the front of my car to try to make a little bumper out of it. And it went like in my uh, fender here and it just sent my car into orbit. Like, I have no idea where it went. I ended up just restarting from that point. Uh, get that tire out of my face. Tell you what, that one's not in terrible condition. I think I've got two bottles of spray, so go ahead and one, two, three, four. And we're now out of spray in this one, so I don't really need that anymore. And then. I'm gonna grab the spray that I threw down. Oh, there's the other sponge. I thought I threw that down. I just didn't have to, just didn't notice where it was. And one, two, three, four. So now we have four good tires, which is important. You always want to have good tires on your vehicle. At least in this game you do, because uh, when you start losing traction, you lose traction fast. So it's always better safe than sorry with your tires. So it looks like we've got a speedometer up here. I don't think we need that. I can't grab the brush up there. Where'd you go? Come on. Come on now. There we go. Get that brush. So I guess I am just going to finish off this door here. So that door is looking pretty good. I think we got one more door over here that could use a little bit of work. I think the brush actually might take it to the next step. But I'm not entirely sure. It's not really doing all too much right now. So we'll put that down, grab our sponge again. And you can use the sponge to polish up uh, polish up your paintwork here. So that's the color of our car when it's all said and done with. And if you do kind of the fender up here, it does the entire car, which saves you, at least you don't have to do every little bit of the car individually. All the, the panels that you can interact with, so all the doors and the hood, um, the trunk, and our sponge is now out of, out of uh, durability. that. See if we can't get our trunk. And we go. 
got. The door up here, or back here, I should say. The hood will be a little bit less than that last door. I don't think we're going to quite get this fixed up. Yep, that is fine to work as well. But I guess what I could do is we've got this spray. And I've, I was using it on the tires, but you can use it on anything. So you can use it to polish this door up. Should be the same deal with four sprays. And it's fixed up. So I'm going to set that down over there. Um, so I've got all my hubcaps on there. And uh, when you get in the car, actually that's something pretty neat. If you close the door, you can adjust your mirrors. So, uh, adjust your mirrors. You can also turn the camera on yourself. Uh, some of these cars have a little light. But I like to have it out the back window, you know, like an actual car so you can see. And it's not really that important that you adjust your mirrors, but I do like that. That's uh, part of the game. So we got our basket down here, it's got a light in it, it's got our siphon in it. I think I'm going to take the rest of this spray with us. Ooh, maybe. I can uh, drop that in the basket there. And there's our light switch at in here. Ooh. I don't know that there's anything else you need. I think this here is like a duster of some sort. You might be able to like Figure out cobwebs. Haven't really figured out what to do with this, but I think the only place I've seen it has been here at the uh, starter house. But it doesn't really doesn't seem to do anything. I don't know if you can use it like oops, on the inside of your car, maybe. I don't know how if the dashboard gets dirty. Maybe something you can do, but doesn't look like it's making all that much of a difference. So guess I'm gonna get rid of that. And I guess you can, uh, you've got a glove box in here. It always comes pre-installed with a pack of cigarettes and some more BBs. So I'm gonna keep uh, these BBs with me. And then those ones in the glove box, and I'm also going to put the revolver in the glove box if I can get it in there. As far as I know, I'm pretty sure the glove box also gets rid of all your physics. But I'm going to keep this in slot 4. I don't think I really need the uh, katana, so I'm going to leave that behind. What I do want, though, is I threw that broom up on the roof. I'm going to go back up here. And this is how you get onto the roof without the broom. Is There's a little door up there. And I'm going to see if I can't pick that up. And try to maneuver it to where it sits in the basket nicely because... This is something I do want to keep with me. I do like the broom. It's probably probably my favorite item that I've discovered so far. And if you're if you're careful with it, you can kind of get it to stand upright in a basket, and you can just attach that basket to the top of your car. Uh, let's see here. And that looks like it worked. Actually, I think I'm going to do that a little bit differently. I think I'm going to take the broom out of there. Uh, set the basket up like that. Close my car door. And see if I can't lay it in here like this so it's not sticking straight into the air. We're just gonna stick this up on the top of our car. It kind of just goes like right where your cursor is when you attach it. 
But I think that works for now. That that stuff shouldn't be going anywhere. Physics is turned off on all of it. And otherwise, I think we are good to start driving. So first night's over. You can also sleep through the night if uh, if need be. But I think we're ready to finally open up. Oops! Open up our door and go on a little road trip. So you close your door. I'm gonna hit I for ignition. Turn your car on. And then you've got a handbrake. You can either hit E on it here to turn it off, or if you hit space, it'll turn it off. And we're just gonna back on out of here. Oh, and there's uh, one other little thing I want to show you actually before we go. Is uh, you've got a mailbox over here. This kind of gives you a little bit of backstory to this game. There's a letter in here, and if you can, you know, wiggle it out of there. So it says, please visit me, love mom. So, kind of gives you a little bit of a uh, story of what you're going to be doing in the game. And I think uh, eventually, the end of the road is going to be your mother's house. But so far, there's yet to be anything down there as far as I've seen. Anyway, let's get back into here. Get on the car. And break off and we can get driving. And the driving in this game is a little bit uh, finicky. And there are rocks on the road. Do you want to watch out for those guys? There's a, looks like a dead rabbit. going to the outside view makes it a little bit easier to, to look out for other buildings that you're going to come across. But you don't have to stay exactly on the road the entire time, but better to stay near the road so you can get to the end of your destination. Like I said, about 5,000 kilometers down the road is where the end of it is, and that's where I believe later down the road that your mom's house is going to be. But, uh, try to not hit the pole. The cars do kind of, once you, when you get up to speed, they kind of get a mind of their own. They'll start to, you know, wander side to side, even if you're not putting any steering input in, which is uh, kind of unsettling when you're going 160 kilometers an hour and you don't want to crash into a pole. Kind of like that. Luckily, that was like a side swipe so still have everything sometimes it'll uh, make your mirrors point in a funky direction or it'll knock your your sun visors off but we're good we're good here a head-on collision to a pole like that going fast will uh, it will kill you that's something that you want to try to avoid doing if you can but anyway we're just gonna drive down the road until we find a building I know we don't have a lot of gas in our car right now, but I'm not too worried about that. You find gas pretty quickly. Maybe not a lot of it, but enough to keep keep you going. And uh, you know, just in enjoy the drive. I don't know. I've got a new microphone right now. I don't know if you can hear my uh, keyboard. It's got some pretty loud clicky switches in it, so... If you can, I might end up uh, trying to figure something out with that. Either a new keyboard or better positioning for my microphone. I'm pretty sure I've got all my tires fixed up. And maybe that basket on the roof is shifting the weight off to the right. That might be why uh, I'm having issues with it. With it wanting to kind of jump off and go go off to the side, lose the back end of it. This is probably my favorite car in the game. It's got, you know, the most modern interior in it, which I do like about that. This road is a, seems a little bumpy. And there are headlights in here. If you hit L, you've got headlights, hit L again, you've got your brights, and then one more time turns them off. But we're just going to keep looking for another uh, another building down the road. And I guess 
I'll speed this up and I will get back with you when I when I come across one. Here we're coming up on our first building. I don't know why my uh, frame rate just kind of kind of died right there. Maybe everything rendering in, but we have a little gas station here. So what we're gonna do is turn our car off, open up the door, and hop on out. And uh, I don't know. My frame rate is not very happy. I'm going to save the game. Uh, if that happens to you, you can save the game and then go to the main menu and just hop back into it. So that's what I'm going to do real quick. Usually that will fix frame errors or frame issues. I think what it might be is our bloom up here. Uh, not seeing very happy right now. I guess my game in general is not too happy right now. I'm running it. 50 frames and I'm usually hit about 120 on this game so doesn't seem to be uh, doing the best right now but like I said you do find gas pretty pretty quickly let me go over here open up the gas door Oops, don't drink the gas there, fill that up don't need the jerry can anymore. And, uh, I think I'm going to cut real quick and see if I can't figure out what's going on with my frame rate because it's not fun to play and I guarantee it's not going to be fun to watch. So I will be right back with you. Alright, and I think we got our frame rate sorted out. So I don't think we've got anything else uh, of use in here. It looks like a mirror, some paint, giraffe. Got two friends in the toilet. Also a uh, siphon in the toilet. Maybe some turds. See any rabbits to throw a turd at? Let's see about the well. Got it's like some doors in the well. Now let's see if we can get back out of here. Because sometimes that's the hardest part is getting getting back out. So uh, let us close our gas tank and carry on down the road. I think the uh, issue with the frame rate was the broom. There's some rabbits. Get out of the way. Oh. Sorry, man. So I uh, ended up sticking it in there upright. I think that the issue was it was kind of, what, like 90% out of the uh, basket. Because I, I adjusted the broom and now we're back at, what, 80 frames on recording, which is probably about right yeah. man I absolutely love this game it is just gorgeous got the sunrise and the sunsets turn on our headlights you know, drive in first person a little bit No, the car doesn't seem to be, you know, veering as hard off to the to the side as it was with the. Uh, now I've adjusted the broom either. I really do. I think that that broom was causing some uh, problems, I should say, for for the physics of this game. Because I'm not really having the whole veer off to the side, uh, like all of a sudden from uh, for for no reason. Ooh. Got lucky with that rock. You know, sometimes those little rocks appear on the road and you just don't see them until the last second. I tell you what, they will really mess up your car if you if you hit that. It'll go flying into the air, lose all your hubcaps. Sometimes the door, sometimes it'll it'll kill you. Okay, what I'm gonna do though, is uh, just slow down over here. And we're gonna do is uh, have a little sleep in the car, wake up in the morning time.
I guess I left the uh, headlights on, but that doesn't really matter because uh, I don't think the batteries will, will die in this game. I'm going to turn them back off now that I'm uh, not using them. Sometimes these sun visors, it's easier to see without them, but uh, I guess that's okay. They do help if you're driving in first person when you're when the sun's going down. They are pretty helpful. I think we're going to carry on to the next building, explore the next building, and after that I'm going to call that the episode so I can get this edited and get it out for you. Which, speaking of, looks like there's a small, another little gas station over here, so... See what's going on. Usually you don't find a whole lot of uh, useful stuff in here other than well, a bike, which is what there is there. And the bike doesn't really do a whole lot for you. It is kind of fun, but uh, I do have a bucket of blood here. And what's that? Oh, another revolver. This one's got five shots on it, so I might as well keep that just to have a couple extra bullets. I don't see anything in here. I can get it out of there. Before I put that away. See any rabbits sneaking up on us? So I'm going to put this. You can take the baskets off of these bikes. Uh, but I'm, so I'm going to put that revolver. Oop. Guess I'm going to miss the basket, but uh, see if I can. Put it in the basket and take this basket. So I think this one we're gonna put in the trunk. The only reason I didn't put the uh, the one with the broom in the trunk, oh, the one with the broom in the trunk, is because uh, I think that would just cause even more issues for the physics engine of this game. And I would rather not have that. So we got 1.3 liters of gas and 2.3 liters of oil. So the gas I'm just gonna stick in here. And drop that driver's side. And fill that up. So we're already up to five liters. We started with half a liter before we filled it up the first time. And let's see how we're doing oil wise. We're at four point nine out of five liters. That's not too bad. Not necessarily great, but it could be worse. So what I'm gonna do is take this a can of oil and see if I can't maneuver it into this basket. Right. So we shouldn't have too many issues with that and I'm going to move this basket kind of more to the center of the car. So like a little mohawk right in the middle of the roof. Oh, take to open the bucket of blood. And it's always nice to, or a good idea to check the roof on these plays. Like on this one, we've only got a sun visor. Or no, that's a number plate, actually. It's got a license plate. It is good to check check the roofs of these buildings. You you do find stuff up there occasionally. But anyway, I think I'm gonna call that an episode here. I'll get this edited and get it out to you. So. Until next time, let you get a good look at me on the mirror, but I will see you. Let me know how you, how you feel about this game, and then I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. I appreciate every view. Peace.